Hi, Internet neighbors. Let's talk about home security systems, particularly home security systems that require no contracts. So I ended up looking at two types of systems. The first one is a do-it-yourself home security system using Home Genie, which you run a server on a computer in your own network, and that server can run on Windows, Linux, or Mac. And you can pretty much get text notifications for free whenever a, a sensor triggers. The second system I looked at was SimpliSafe, which will work when the power is cut because it uses cell towers to send notifications to the monitoring center. However, that requires payment. There are two choices, and if you don't want to pay, you still get the siren sound. In this video, we'll be going over the Home Genie setup, so let's go take a look at the demo of that. In the Home Genie dashboard, you see a bunch of widgets, and here I've set it up so that there is a door sensor for the front door, and it's right here. So this is a magnet that goes on it. So you see when I remove the magnet, you can see the, uh, the uh, walking person sign, and then when it comes back on, then it goes away. So this is one thing I'll uh, show how to get set up. And um, in order to use this as a home security system, they have a security alarm system dashboard. So here I've configured it to send me a text. So let's arm the system. Let's say, wait. So now I'm gonna uh, remove this. Right, and now it triggers an alarm. And here is a uh, cast of my phone screen. And in a few seconds, I'll get a alert. There you go. You can see that uh, the Home Genie security system has told me that the alarm was triggered by the front door. Now let's go and look at the hardware you need to get this set up. First thing you'll need is a Z-Wave controller. Uh, and this is a USB stick that you can plug into your computer. It only costs $35. Here. And the next thing you'll need is a computer to run the Home Genie server on. So what I recommend is to use some low powered stick computer because you want this thing to be always on. And here I just have some uh, uh, made in China Amigo pad thing, but I recommend getting something better for your system. And lastly, you're going to need the actual sensors themselves. I went with Ecolink because they were reasonably priced at around $27 or $28 per sensor. And I actually bought a couple of motion detectors, uh, this uh, door window sensors, and a tilt sensor for the garage door as well. So you can add as little or as many of these sensors to your system as you like. And I'm going to have links to all these in the show notes at efficienthacks.com slash home security. And if you like this video so far, please use the Amazon affiliate links. So here I'm at the point where I've set up the Z-Wave stick controller and I have also installed Home Genie on a Windows 8 machine. So uh, right now what I want to do is add this tilt sensor to this Home Genie panel. So first uh, what you're going to do is click configure, go to settings. And then under Z-Wave interface options, uh, you're going to click add node. Now it says press the button on the device. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert the battery. All right, now it says node added. So now this is going to be part of our system. Let's close this. All right, now go to your dashboard. So, okay, now on the bottom right, click on Actions and Configure Group. Now I'm going to want to add one. So, Actions again and Add Module. Now, in this drop down list, we're going to see the node that we just added. Here. Now we click Add to add it to our dashboard. 
and we want to click this cog wheel to change the name to something recognizable. So garage. Now we're going to go home and go back to our dashboard. Okay, so you see we have a new uh, garage widget here and when I tilt the sensor here that means the garage door is open. And then I'll tilt back up. That, is, that means it's closed. Alright, so now the last thing you have to do is hook this up to the alarm system. So what you're going to do is click on the cog wheel next to that garage widget we're going to click this drop down security alarm system and then click on use a security sensor and for, uh, for our purposes we'll just say trigger when armed at home click save and then now you're going to configure your alarm system so the most important option in the security alarm system is the email addresses that will be emailed when the alarms trigger. So here I've put in my uh, phone number at tmomail.net which will send me an SMS message. So what we're going to do now is arm the system and I've already placed the garage door tilt sensor onto the garage and I'm going to open the garage right now and show you um, that the alarm is going to trigger. There you go, you can see that uh, man icon in here and let me bring up the phone and here it just came in and it says that the alarm was triggered by the garage and there you have it that's how you set up a do-it-yourself home security system I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time